Hello world, Becca here from Inside the Square with another CSS tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how you can add your logo to the mobile menu on Bedford templates and on Brine templates. So this right here is my demo site built in Bedford. And before we get started on this code, I'm gonna navigate to the mobile menu so you can see what it looks like. Nice and simple, has my two main pages on there, but no branding whatsoever. So we're gonna change that today. I'm gonna close this mobile menu and zoom back out so we can take a look at this code. With this code, what we're actually doing is adding an image to the mobile navigation wrapper or the background of the mo mobile menu, if you will. This is called something specific in Bedford and there's a different name for it in Brine. So make sure you pull the right code for the theme that you're actually using, okay? Let's jump right into it. I'm going to navigate over to my custom CSS folder by clicking design and then custom CSS. Now this is definitely a two-parter code because you'll notice right here, we actually need to use the URL for the image that we'd like to display. So I'm going to add this as a custom file to my Squarespace website. I'm going to select manage custom files and drop the PNG version, portable networks graphic, PNG version of my logo right there. You can use a JPEG too, totally up to you, but I'm gonna use the PNG for myself. And if I click on this, you'll see this is now the URL for that particular image. So right here in this section, I'm going to paste the URL that I just got. And now I can copy this entire code and paste it into the custom CSS section. Now let's navigate to our mobile menu again so we can see what this looks like. I'm going to select this down arrow and then the mobile phone there. And then clicking here on navigation, you'll see I now have an image of my logo at the top of the menu. Now let's say you want to scoot this navigation down just a little bit. We've already added some padding in the last line here, but I'll knock that up to 100 pixels and that'll scoot my navigation down any, a little bit further. If you don't have this line that adds padding to the top of your navigation, it's going to get a little bit crunched with the logo you'd like to put in there. So make sure you put that in there and then adjust the padding top as you see fit to really fit around the logo display size that you've got going on there. All right, so again, that's manage custom files. You'll drop your image file in here and then paste the URL in the code where it says your URL here. <laughs> and when you're all done, select save and you'll be good to go. That's it for today's CSS tutorial. Thanks for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website. Ready for more? Awesome. Download my collection of over 20 mobile specific CSS codes at insidethesquare.co slash mobile mods. That's insidethesquare.co slash mobile M-O-D-S.